what is going on cancer gang gang welcome my dears back to the channel for yet another general message for the cancer collective i am praying that these messages find each and every one of you all in the best of health and spirit honey Hopefully you guys had an amazing day today. Child, I've been busy minding my business <laughs> today. Okay. Uh, what is going on? Sharon in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Intuitive me. Spitter is in the house. Life with Madre. Madre. <laughs> beautiful one welcome 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 pretty bianca hey danny oh i'm so sorry to hear that you have been on bed rest honey but maybe you needed that rest child what is going on jerica it's good to see you back with us in the chat though okay danny i have missed you as well my love what is good <laughs> What's good, Miss Gracious? I'm laughing at Carly in the chat right now. The Scarlet Empress. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And good evening, honey, to you as well. Misha T is in the house. Moon Women is in the house. Tamika. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sabrina. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. Esther J. So glad that you made it, my dear. Angelica is in the house. What is good? What's going on, Brittany? Welcome, 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 everyone. Don't forget, if these messages resonate, feel free to share down below in the comments. Also, give the video a thumbs up. <clears throat> And honey, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, child. It is Friday. I'm hoping once again that you guys have had an amazing day and an even more amazing night. Altered State. Welcome. I literally, literally burning the midnight candle for this one. Okay. Period, Pooh. All right, Spirit, what's the first message? What's going to be our heading message for past energy? Past. What's the past going on for cancer? And I got my freaking deck in the reverse. So the crowning energy for the past position is the judgment card, y'all. Making decisions. Some of y'all could have recently received a call from somebody unexpected. Some of y'all could have gotten a call about some sort of important news information. As I say that, look, all of this flipped over in my hand. Some of y'all could have heard from a Taurus and Aquarius. Some of you could have gotten a call about an approval on a place. Maybe this is your dream house, dream job. Some of y'all could have met somebody new because we got you in this energy of the Queen of Cups. Letting go of that struggle, love. I love it for you, Cancer. Somebody could also be thinking about a proposal during this time. Now, whatever that proposal is, is going to be different for everybody. Somebody could have got some news about something financial. I don't know. Some of y'all could have got a payout recently. What's the current energy for cancer? We got the eight of pentacles. Focus, man. Blessings on blessings. Are we focused? It's kind of looking like we still a little bit out of focus, child. Let me see. But this is blessing stacking up, Cancer. This is also you just being focused on your craft. Some of you guys <clears throat> are just focused on your bag. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all in the energy where you feel like you have turned. And I know I don't mean this in a negative way, but sort of like turned your back on love in a sense, right? 
because that's just not your main focus right now. Some of you are like, I got bigger fish to fry. That's what I'm hearing. You got goals. You got dreams. You got aspirations that you out here trying to accomplish. I also get somebody is doing, yeah, Ace of Swords. Somebody is doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about something. Ace of Swords. Somebody could also be getting some sort of new contract in regards to legalities like housing, a job. Some of you, for those who are kind of like looking for love, because we did see the Queen of Cups, so I can't disregard those of you who are in this space as well. You're thinking about just all the things, Cancer, all the things that you want. And some of y'all could even be a little bit obsessive, obsessively thinking, how am I going to get this? How can I get to this money? How can I get this home? How can I get the things that I need? When is love going to come in? When are my finances going to turn around? It's like so many different things on your mind. But I don't see it being in, maybe that's the advice. Some of you spirit is giving the advice to make sure that this doesn't become obsessive. Make sure that this doesn't become something that you're putting more focus on the lack thereof of a thing versus the many ways. Because I also see the eight of pentacles is just all the ways that spirit can bring things in for you in a solid manner energy at the bottom of the deck we got the king of pentacles you try it like child i remember somebody came into the q a one night and said let me how can i tell me how i can be that nigga in 2024 <laughs> Some of y'all just trying to figure out how can you become this king of pentacles, the man, the woman, depending on your slang, honey. Okay, it is what it is, but this is what your main focus has been on, Cancer, elevating yourself, um, ways in which you can better yourself, heal yourself, and what is the future going to look like for you as well. Somebody could be moving to a new city, traveling to a new city, uh, somebody could be getting a passport, something about immigration could also be significant for somebody. Um, or maybe it's like visas, something like that with important documentation. If it's not work related or some sort of legal situation in your life that could be significant vivian could also be significant and i wasn't quite done i forgot that's not how i want to do the spread today so let's go ahead and get more into this real quick cancer and we're going to see somebody is leaving somebody has made a decision that it's time to go now what you leaving cancer you tell me <laughs> okay, if you watching the playback, tell me down below, honey. If you in the chat, you can feel free to type it in the chat. First message, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all this a relationship. Some of y'all this a job. Some of y'all this the motherfucking states. Okay, America KKK. Uh, <clears throat> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, what's going on with the judgment for cancer? Something flew, seven of pentacles. Some of y'all, this what you pondering. You thinking about it, Cancer. Okay. And this could also be another reason, like, something is on delay as well. Some of y'all are thinking too long about what it is that you want to do. And there's a, a lack of action taking place. I don't know. Somebody could have a green challenger or just a green car, truck, I don't know. Pennsylvania could also be significant. Um, Queen of Pentacles is making me think of a line from the title. Um, 
hair, nails, polar bear. <laughs> okay, I can survive in the coldest conditions. You can, Cancer. I feel like that's also something that Spirit is saying has been proven to you, honey. And some of y'all got some people a little flabbergasted, bewildered on how do you do it, child? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. It has not taken, it hasn't been something that has happened overnight. It has taken time for you to get to the position that you are currently in. Hmm. It could be cold where you are, child. Polar Bell. Yeah. Some of y'all got your exes thinking about how they done chose the two and not the one. They ain't realized that you was the one and not the two. And they chose the motherfucking two, child. What is going on, Nancy? What else on this Eight of Pentacles? We go from the Eight of Pentacles down here to the Eight of Wands, 88. Maybe you're born in 88. Your life path number could be eight. Um... You could have a child that's eight years old or turning eight. July 8th could be your birthday, honey. August 8th could also be significant, but take that how it resonates. Some of y'all could be connecting with a Leo, have a Leo family member. I don't know. Um, you tell me. <laughs> 88. Spirit could be sending you eights in this moment as well to let you know that a new beginning is transpiring in your life, Cancer. Mm -hmm. What's the ace of what is this ace of swords? This is a new contract. This is a new cycle. I'm also hearing it's like ever since you distanced yourself from some people that wanted to see things delayed for you. Hateful, evil motherfucking people, child. That's what it's kind of giving from the energy switch up just now. Okay, like ruthless, trying to purposefully slow things down for you, talking behind your back, trying to paint you out to be like painting themselves out to be a victim and you're like the one victimizing other people victimizing them some of y'all this could be a group some of y'all this could be a group of people on a job so co-workers some of y'all this could have been taking place within a friend group or a family dynamic you know how um what she say when her ops get together, I'm like, what in the fuck? Okay. Your ops then got together. And child, they just stirring up the pot, honey. Some of y'all, this is things that you've already been through in your past. That, like I said, since you distanced yourself from this job or this friend group or this family. I feel like some people turning on each other now. Now you successful. Now you're free. And other people are witnessing this shit too. Like, hmm, if cancer was so bad, why is it seem like when cancer was fucking with y'all, shit was stagnated for cancer? Cancer was like kind of, you know what I'm saying, falling off a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. But since cancer distanced themselves, cancer been turning up. Cancer has been elevating. Cancer has been freeing themselves. Cancer been doing shit that y'all ain't even thinking about. Y'all can't even think about the things that cancer is doing. You know how some people, what holds them back is the fact that they cannot see certain things for themselves. If you ain't never seen or felt like there was a possibility for you to make 
let's just say a million dollars, right? You hear people talk about, oh yeah, I made a million dollars last quarter and all of this extra shit, you know and I'm saying? Talk that you would never dream about. That's the type of stuff that you're on. Talk that other people around you have never dreamt of. And some of you, that is the purpose behind why people have been so hateful, why their intentions have been to slow you down, why you dealt with jealousy, envy, um, just hatred from others especially those who you think are supposed to be like the four wands for you supportive of you it's because the things you talk about the things that you think about their mind can't even fathom this kind of stuff cancer and so it could have been very intimidating what's the ace of swords look at this shit nine of cups somebody also gonna find out that they're pregnant or that they got somebody pregnant. I also feel like this is just news. Some, ooh, not the Ten of Pentacles. This is news that's coming in, Cancer, that you're going to be very happy and excited about. Some of y'all, this is a trip. Uh, like a vacation or this is like you literally relocating here mm. it's like once you decided this to kind of like distance yourself from what hasn't been working for you things have been turning around or will turn around it depends on where you are on the timeline okay are you still in a space where you're needing to release something that's holding you back a friend connection a job a living situation something pertaining to family exes pain ideas lack mentality are these things that your spirit is trying to get you to really like look at you know the seven of pentacles is someone who has planted seeds and they're standing looking at their work looking at their accomplishments or just looking at the things like the seeds that you have planted some of you could find yourself doing a lot of like i'll say reminiscing thinking about the things that you've gone through thinking about the things that you have accomplished some of you others of you that's why you got to get in control of what you're giving more of your focus and your attention to because some of y'all are thinking about a lot of painful situations and it could be bringing your energy down so it's like you're faced with having to make a decision of what you're going to focus on others of you could be thinking about your accomplishments thus far it's like i've been through this but look what i have done right i can survive in the coldest conditions look at what i have been brought through by the divine and you're optimistic you're hopeful about what else there is to come now those of you that's on that wave honey oh lord cancer look what you're doing Look what you're manifesting, the nine of cups to the ten of pentacles. Ultimate happiness and bliss within your love life with the cups being here, within finances, ten of pentacles. Okay, do we need to be back here? Okay, yeah. Okay, the ultimate happiness and bliss, wish fulfillment, People are literally seeing you as that girl, that guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, Cancer, Alondra could also be significant for somebody. It's like you've been proving to yourself that you ain't the, you're not the two, you're the one. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. I feel like we saw the King of Pentacles fall out, but I'm not sure. I can't really remember. You have definitely been freeing yourself from some sort of unhealthy dynamic. It's like I'm seeing the eight of swords in my mind. So it could just be attachments, uh, vices, mentalities 
that's what you're changing Um, you know I am that girl. <laughs> um, Ohio could also be significant for somebody. Why I also feel like some of y'all have been elevating and some of the symptoms of this elevation, you may be feeling like you having stomach issues in the sense of certain things that you used to eat doesn't sit right for you anymore some of y'all might not even be having no damn appetite you might feel like where is my appetite right now like you're fasting but not intentionally i i don't know if that makes sense just can't eat the same things that you used to some of y'all your cycle may have been off or is off it could be heavier than usual it could be lighter than usual late later than it usually comes on or coming on earlier than usual because of the changes and the shifts that are happening within the physical realm a lot of things are have been happening in the 5d that people are about to start witnessing in the uh 3d in the physical world okay it's like you're seeing gl oh glitches in the matrix mm, okay cancer oh you you definitely awake honey any of your let's say like wounded masculine uh for my masculines or my feminines because keep in mind we have both energies so the wounded masculine is being eclipsed the fuck out okay any type of wounded masculine tendencies patterns they're being forced out people are being forced to let go so either let's say you're connecting with somebody who is operating in wounded masculine energy shit is going to become so toxic between you and whoever this is whatever group this is that you have no choice but to detach let it go others of you this is internal so it's the wounded masculine within yourself feeling on guard distrusting of others feeling like you got to do everything Thing by yourself on your own is like wounded masculine energy y'all these are the things that are being forced out of our reality because spirit is asking for divine feminine divine feminine okay to enter the building child can can the real divine feminine please stand up <laughs> we gotta let go of these wounded masculinity or wounded masculine traits okay that's the word that i want to use yes it's not about being on guard it's not about you know being very defensive suppressing your emotions spirit like speak up speak up about them feelings child you feeling threatened all the time nobody is threatening you nobody is out to get you and those who have been spirit saying you don't release that type of energy if you know you've been doing that work and releasing that type of energy you do you no longer have to walk through life on eggshells you know and maybe even using violence um being violent with words to kind of like prove your power and your control you know what i'm saying all of that it, it, we don't need to do that child we don't need that energy anymore it did what it did you know it could have been something that was helpful for a time because in a sense it's like this could have been a space of protecting yourself that you fell into no more forcing things you know that's also a wounded masculine when you're out here forcing relationships and forcing this job to work forcing this contract this deal this business connection whatever it is you're trying to deal with circumstances that spirit is like why are you even trying to force that why not just let that shit go we don't have to be dominating 
I also heard domineering, overthinking. Remember I talked about that overthinking obsessively and not taking action? That's wounded masculine. Don't got to overdo anything, honey, to keep nobody, to keep anybody, uh, keep their attention. Mm -mm. No demanding, oh, you're going to treat me like this. I, I want you you should be taking me out you should be doing this why you don't call and check on me why you don't never text me child bye that's being released eight of eight of wands okay we are also no longer in a wounded feminine space for my masculines because I feel like the, the wounded masculine is taking place within the feminine energies on the planet. And with the masculine energies, it's like letting go of the wounded feminine, repressing your emotions once again, feeling unworthy shame and guilt when it comes to sharing your feelings and opening up and being vulnerable not having very strong boundaries codependency sometimes both both of you masculine and feminine find yourself in places where you're over apologizing all the time or feel the need to over explain yourself as to why you are not doing this or not doing that or why i can't do this or can't do that instead of just saying no and then i don't need an explanation the answer is no <laughs> the fuck but when you step more into a space where the, the masculine energy has been healed, the feminine energy within you has been healed, you become more present. That means I'm, I, I'm hopeful about the future, but I'm not obsessing over how, how am I going to manifest my dreams, the star card that flew out in the very beginning. Oh, I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. But how? What can I do? How can I get to this money? How can I change this situation? How can I get more money to come in? Just be in the present moment and be thankful for what you do have right here, right now. You have shelter. Be thankful for that, child. You have friends, you have family, a support system for those of you who do. Be thankful for that. For those of you who feel like that's something that's lacking, be thankful for how spirit has been your support system. Spirit has been your best friend. Spirit has seen you through your worst situation, the coldest conditions. Yeah, I'm saying. Learn how to hold space for people without it taking up the space that you give yourself mm, that's a word be more aware about what your what your intentions are express yourself when need be trust your intuition Connect with other people through the energy of love. Be more compassionate. Tap into your creations and creativity. This is going to create free flowing energy and allow the things that you, you dream of for yourself to come to you with ease. And some of you guys are mastering this in ways that you may have never thought possible for yourself and it's kind of like radiating off of you nine of cups is also giving like a radiant type of energy for me right now what else do you want cancer to know some of y'all there is a person you're going to be receiving some communication from somebody because Somebody couldn't foresee you becoming who you are today, Cancer. 
So this somebody who didn't believe in you. And honestly, that's not even something to take personal because I feel like this person may not have believed in you because they didn't even believe in themselves. So there's no need to be abusive <laughs> with this person, this energy when it comes towards you. No need for aggression. S express how something made you feel. Yes. You know, create those those boundaries for yourself that's another thing you've been learning how to set boundaries for yourself but no need to be abusive you know saying or on defense afraid overthinking feeling like you gotta overdo something to prove something that spirit say it's already been proven oh indiana could also be significant some of y'all literally starting to see let's just use even the outside world y'all know y'all i know y'all been hearing about this shit with diddy and that guy from nickelodeon the schneider guy uh something schneider and our spirit is like this is only the beginning age of aquarius honey ain't playing no games right now but you're seeing the wounded masculine get dealt with the wounded masculine has uh, the battle has already had already been taking place in the 5d now you're starting to witness it in the 3d it's now you know everything happens in the spirit realm first So now you're starting to literally wake up and see all of these different things. And trust me, it's going to be more people get exposed. You got spirit say it's time to remove them glasses. Yeah, you know say the fall of this wounded masculine energy is what we're witnessing. Now you're seeing it with the physical eye. That's all. Some of y'all going to get a call from somebody. Let me say this as well. Page of Wands is kind of giving like a, a immature type of energy in this way that I'm seeing it. Some of y'all, this just somebody who is like checking in is giving monitoring spirit cancer. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or somebody could be sending someone like a friend, a family member to call you, especially if some of y'all got somebody ass on block and they got somebody else calling you for them. Because <clears throat> this is kind of making me think of somebody with like self-limiting beliefs themselves and they want to call you to check on what you're up to and spirit is just saying when this modern monitoring spirit don't know what you got going on they don't know what to attack cancer so leave them in the dark <laughs> okay you do not have to update nobody on your every move. Let them know. Like, what did I say in another read? Um, you not announcing what you're doing. You gonna announce the arrival. Meaning, I'm not telling you what my plans are. But once I have manifested it, once I have done it, then I'll let you know it's been done. I'll confirm you reaching your goal basically other than that child keep your business to yourself cancer heavy on keep your business to yourself spirit is letting me know for those of you who feel like you dealt with some stagnation during the month of march next month Woo, cancer, the month ahead. And we almost there, honey. It's going to be a productive, happy month full of love and success. Can I get somebody to type, April will be productive and happy for me? Hmm. 
April is going to be full of love and success. You damn right. Ace of Swords. That's what you got to look forward to, honey. No cap. And I'm also here for those of y'all who've been pondering, thinking about releasing something. Spirit is also saying that sometimes detachment is the only way for self-preservation. Did you hear what I said? Detachment is the only way for you to self-preserve. Otherwise, you become a martyr. Otherwise, you allow yourself to be a fucking punching bag or a doormat. So it's best to detach. <laughs> Somebody could also drive a Jeep Wrangler or maybe you get in a Jeep Wrangler. That could be your dream car. I don't know. All I know is Spirit is saying there are opportunities that lie ahead for you, Cancer, all over the place. Ooh. Can I get somebody to type there are opportunities for me all over the place? Yes, there are. They're everywhere. You just got to look in the right places. Not that eight of swords shit where you're looking at, once again, them eight swords are all in the reverse. So it's not truth. It's illusion. The ropes that you're binded by, you can definitely get yourself free of. So even that bondage is... Uh, an illusion. Think about uh, I, I like this analogy, child. Uh, elephant and how powerful it is. But this elephant has been raised up from being a baby to an adult elephant in the circus. And all it's like this little baby elephant is used to having their little leg tied with li this little ass rope to a little stake in the goddamn ground. And as it becomes older, guess what? It won't even try to free itself as big and giant and powerful as it is. It could take the whole damn tent with it if it wanted to. You put certain fish, put fish in a small bowl, honey, and then you take their ass out and put them in a bigger aquarium. They'll still swim around in that small ass circle or area that they're used to swimming in because they're afraid to venture outside of it to see that, oh, my God, there's more to experience. Oh my God, there's more, more space in this aquarium that I've never ventured to. You cannot allow yourself to be held back by small things, by not opening your mind to the endless possibilities that spirit has. To bring in every manifestation, every wish, every prayer that you can think of i feel like now is the time for you guys to play around with the divine play with your power how, how else are you gonna stream so what i mean is what's the craziest thing you can dream up for yourself and make that shit happen cancer What's the most absurd? You like, bro, there is no way. And really focus your intention on opening your mind. Don't be a fish in a little small ass fish bowl that has now been placed in a big ass aquarium, but you afraid to go and venture out and see the, the, the new space. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't be the elephant that's afraid and just going to stand there with that little baby rope tied to its ankle talking about I'm stuck, I'm trapped. You an elephant, bro. <laughs> you can take all of that shit with you. You can really cause some damage out here your cancer. And when I say damage, I'm talking about damage to people's egos those naysayers 
some of y'all there's a air sign feminine a libra gemini or aquarius Ooh, a ruthless little bitch and this could be a masculine energy or a feminine energy honestly you got to take it how it resonates okay but this somebody who dislikes you who is jealous and envious of you because of their self-limiting beliefs they redirect them however they feel about themselves onto you they're, they've been projecting onto you this could be somebody who may just have air in their chart <clears throat> okay it could be one of their big three sun moon or rising but that's what it's giving it's giving jealous i also heard ice queen cold hearted A bitchy type of energy, honey. All right. Ooh, I ain't taking both of these, but spirit say it's your season. You are the reason for the season, Cancer. Can I get you to type that into the chat? I am the reason for the season. Use your alchemy, honey. Queen never TD in the building. Number one, you could be a life path. Number one, July 1st, birthday. Some of y'all could be 38 years old or turning 38 this year. That is an 11 when we add the three and eight. So that's like holding one, one, one. Maybe y'all are seeing one, one, one. You see this egg in her hand. This is letting me know that there's a new beginning, new life, new things to experience, honey, being birthed at this time for you. Amethyst could also be significant. The purple in this card is giving amethyst vibes for me. And when I see the Nefertiti, I always think of Lapis Lazuli. So that could be significant or even rubies now. Interesting. That's a new one. So ruby, somebody's name could even be ruby. You're shedding the old cancer. Stepping into a new season, a new timeline, justice. You're reaping rewards. Spirit has proven to you your own independence. That's another thing that I'm getting. You've been learning how to set clear boundaries for yourself, which means that you've been definitely closing out cycles, being very direct with your communication. Some of y'all, this is a, a omen to the fact that you have communication coming in. Now, some of y'all, this could be communication coming in from a lawyer. This could be some sort of final judgment, final decree when it comes to a legal matter, law, courthouse matters. This is spirit's way of saying that whatever you feel has been done unjustly is about to be corrected. Okay, so I'm seeing a fair outcome a fair judgment this is somebody coming towards you telling the truth being open and honest about their feelings for those of you that this is like love related and love can be romantic it could be familiar friendly whatever the case may be okay but this is somebody coming in in a, a honest manner I'm also hearing like the law of cause and effect is playing out right now. So some of these folks that have done wrong by you, not that you care, but the, the point of the matter is whether you care or not, they are under the law of cause and effect. And whatever the hell they've been doing, they're now reaping the karma behind it. Okay. divine lineage we got <laughs> alchemy wanted to come out anyway number six july 6 could be your birthday some of y'all could also have a child that's six years old or it could be turning six 
and july 19th could be your birthday as well you may even have a child that's 19 cancer or turning 19 this year we releasing shame remember that's another energy from that uh look divine masculine divine feminine stepping into that cosmic power embracing both sides of who you are because to shun either side is still shunning a part of yourself. Tell me why I'm also thinking about this is like on a large scale maritime law. If you know what that is. The U.S. of A., the corporation, you know what I'm saying, operates under this law. Oh, do I want to get into that, child? We'll see if it come back around. Because <laughs> this making me think of the waters, nine of cups, like the womb. You're born on water. In water. And then you dock, meaning a doctor delivers you. <laughs> Tosca could be significant. These damn birth certificates that they sell on the market, child, with stock. Mm, So-called birth certificates. That pretty much states that you're not even a living entity. Crazy, right? 333 could be significant for somebody. I ain't gonna get too deep off in it. Somebody eating tacos, or maybe you've been craving some tacos. Spirit is saying you may encounter many defeats, but you must never be defeated, Cancer. Oh, yeah, some of y'all this a masculine, a uh, air sign masculine. Okay. Some of y'all done had some run-ins with them air signs, huh, cancer? <laughs> okay, be it male or female, you like, fuck them air signs. Some of y'all feel like that? <laughs> it don't matter if it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, child. Some of y'all just done had some run-ins, and you like, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. They about to get what's coming to them, Cancer. Some of y'all gonna even find out about somebody karma. Okay, Joanne. Child, why? As soon as I said Joanne, I was about to say Jolene. Jolene. Hell no, child. Don't beg no damn female not to take your man because if she can take him, that ain't your man. I don't even understand the purpose behind some of these songs, child. What? Mm. I wish I would make a fool out of myself talking shit to somebody. If you can take them, have them. The fuck be my guest. Mm, mm, mm. Some people be out here just embarrassing themselves. That's all I can say. How you call yourself a queen? <laughs> mm. Anywho, um, some of y'all, this is people who have brought in this energy of shame and embarrassment. Matter of fact, let's read from the book on these messages that came out. Number 19. 
spirit wants you to know, Cancer, that you are beautiful and loved. Every part of you and your journey is beautiful. Even the ugliest moments. You have a heart, soul, and breath that makes you beautiful. So don't be ashamed of anything that you have encountered have experienced have allowed all of it was lessons hmm and you learned your lesson right right ace of swords so there's nothing to be ashamed of nine of cups ten of pentacles your story could definitely save other people could help heal other people could help guide others and that could be why it is a part of your story a part of the narrative that you had to experience so that you can be the leader that you came here to be because that's another way i'm seeing this king of swords and ace of swords it's like take away the sign okay the the qual the element behind the car and look at these are warrior energies these are people who came to change the world through their mind their thoughts and whatever it is that you're speaking so some of you that is your divine calling that's over your life it is the fact that you think outside of the box it is the fact that your thoughts are not like those that are around you you're here to push the veil of their minds and that don't necessarily mean that you got to be in their life you drop gems and then you leave child sometimes the problem is we try to stay attached to people who spirit never meant for you to be attached to spirit meant for you to teach and then let go i'm just saying you've been planting a lot of seeds depending on the seeds that have been planted even though you feel like things have been stagnated during this month right the month of march things have been stagnated for some of you or you just feel like things have been moving very slowly spirit is saying the seeds that you have planted at this time that's what you can uh get ready to reap now i must say this i'm not saying this is you cancer but i cannot be biased and feel like all cancers are just out here doing good child let's be fucking for real if we gonna be anything at all so if you ain't been planting no seeds of good i don't even know what your expectation of receiving good is there for okay some of y'all these be people that you leave behind don't plant now seed of good out here but they literally be sitting around man i'm waiting on this i'm waiting on that you gonna keep waiting i'm just saying spirit is saying it's time for you to accept yourself you are a bright light cancer so allow yourself to see who you really are and not just that allow others to see who you really are too i spirit say i see you and i know you've been doing the best that you can and all of the things that you have been doing will be rewarded you're going to get what's coming for you, honey. You're going to get what is rightfully yours. You are the alchemist. This card, Queen Nefertiti says, it is time. You turn everything that life throws your way into gold. Can I get you to type that into the chat? Or for those of y'all catching the playback, feel free to type it in the comments below. I turn everything life has thrown my way into gold. Spirit say you are literally on the path to fulfilling your purpose. Can't you see it in the cards? That is the truth, Cancer. 
you literally have the power to bend universal energy cosmic power oh spirit you giving me chills they're multiplying and i'm losing control <laughs> Ow, I'm just saying, honey. What is that, grease? Mm. Dare to transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. See it in your mind's eye first, Cancer. And watch it manifest in your physical reality. Your goddess declaration with this card is everything I touch turns to gold. Ha! Yes! You're damn right it does, Cancer. You have encountered many things that were supposed to defeat you. All it did was put you on the path to your right calling. So it was supposed to defeat you. You could have encountered a lot of things that did defeat you, but you never embodied the energy of defeat. Even at your lowest, honey, you still pick yourself the fuck up and you be like, can't stop, won't stop. I might not know how this is going to happen. I might not know how I'm going to manifest this or that, but I got to keep going. I got to keep trying. That's all that matters. That is how you know that you never walk in the energy of being defeated. Just because something doesn't go your way, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. Nine times out of ten, it didn't go your way because it wasn't for you. That don't mean that what is for you ain't out there available. It don't mean that what is for you ain't literally looking for you. What slows you down from finding what is for you, who is for you, is trying to stay in situations that's not for you. What I post on the community tab, um, I can't remember it verbatim, but basically somebody saying, I'm done. And now God is like, finally, I can get to work. Sometimes it's you that is in your own way. And when you finally decide to, you know what spirit, you got it. <laughs> Because clearly everything that I try to make force wounded masculine, everything I try to force to be for me, that shit blows up. So from here on out, I don't want anything that doesn't belong to me. Then you'll be surprised at how quickly what is for you can flow into your life once you step out of the way stop trying to be god by yourself Ooh. okay that's a word spirit say it's about time now i can begin some of y'all got something coming your way within the next 14 days. That's two weeks from today. Keep that in mind. Others of you, I'm even hearing something in the next three days. So three to 14 days. Keep those numbers, that time frame in your mind. Hmm. All right, cosmic, what's this up? No, it's divine lineage. Your ancestors protect the Holy Grail, Cancer. And guess what the Holy Grail is? It's you. 
the divine ones walk beside and within you. That's all you got to trust. This is speaking to your ancestors and you guys that are in alignment with this message, honey, you definitely a chosen one. You're definitely from a lineage of royalty. You see that crown above your head? Just adjust it, honey. Don't let nobody take that shit from you, cancer. Water energy coming through really strong. This says you you have the highest divine lineage. Ooh. And your ancestors want to remind you that you are not alone. Some of y'all could be doing ancestor work, like altar work in this time, or you're being called to do it. Your God is direct the declaration for that card. I am my sister and my sister is me because they all live within you. They walk beside you. Some of y'all, these are blood relatives. These are people who are spiritually connected to you. Because you got you got ancestors that may not have incarnated in this life that don't take away the fact that they are your ancestor. Just because they they may have reincarnated here with you to be your blood don't mean the ones that did not reincarnate here at this time. They decided to stay on the other side to be able to help you and guide you through. Some of them was like, shit, as we go, she got to have, or he got to have somebody on this side too now. We can't all reincarnate at the same time. I hope that's making sense. Let's get some more on this board, child. I feel like I'm doing a lot of rambling. What's the seven of pentacles? Too many. Five of swords and five of pentacles, child. No more low vibing ass thoughts. Those of you who are focused on those things, this is something you're being asked to release, to let go of, to heal within yourself. These low frequencies, that mentality, like I said, you have encountered. You know, the Five of Pentacles is left out in the cold. The Scarlet Empress. I thank you so very much, my love. Look at you. Planting them seeds, child. It's coming right back to your honey foe. I thank you for the $9.99 super chat. But you have encountered the coldest conditions, cancer, and came out on top. You've, you've encountered situations that have been you know, defeating. It didn't go in the way that you wanted it to go, but with the seven of pentacles, you kept playing. So that tells me you didn't allow yourself to be defeated. Mm. I like it. Who the hell is this seven of swords? Some of y'all, this are earth sign. Some of y'all, this are air sign. So we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, shisty ass person right here. Who is this? Seventy-seven could also be significant. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is just spirit working in mysterious ways to bring about every dream, prayer, wish that you have. Some of y'all, somebody is being sneaky because they're about to propose to you. Others of you, somebody is trying to figure out how they can get back into your energy. So they being strategic about how they come towards you. And then there are some of you guys who are needing to release because you holding on tight to low vibing thoughts 
when it comes to oh i want to move i want to make money to the point where i can live comfortably i want love i want this i want that when is it going to come in and that's what you're overthinking and it's like as soon as you think about the things that you want the negative thought comes in that tells you it ain't gonna happen how you gonna do that you can't trust nobody so where are you gonna get this love from what you gonna do when it comes to finances to, to set yourself financially free look at how the world is look at this look at that look at your surroundings how you gonna turn this around you don't even know what you want to do you don't even know this you don't even know that it's the self-sabotage so as soon as you plant a seed that's positive there's a negative ass thought that comes in and kill that shit before it can even take root to grow that is what you got to make the decision. What are you going to focus on? Are you going to actually give the seeds that you plant or positivity, the things that you want, a, a fight and chance? And to do that is some things that got to be unpacked, Cancer. Some of y'all, it's things that you got to unpack about yourself, how you see yourself pertaining to your identity. Because keep in mind, I'm going to keep going back to the fact that right now, Chiron, the wounded healer, is in the sign of Aries. Along with a lot of other things, but specifically, Chiron being in Aries is giving us is forcing us to look at how we identify with self. Are you walking around carrying a lot of shame and embarrassment surrounding certain things in your life? If so, it's time to unpack that shit, Cancer, and let it go. Oh, I'm not making the money that I wanted to make. I have to live in this situation or that situation. I'm too old to be doing this or doing that. I should know what I want by now. Why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? This makes me less of a man. This makes me less of a woman. It's those things that you got to unpack. And then release because you holding on tightly to some things that are not helping you to create the life that you want others of you i feel like you don't already decided is that i i'm trying to change these things about self you've already done the sorting through whatever the seven of swords is and that is why the ace of pentacles is here with this queen of pentacles the, the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is the Six of Pentacles. So it's like the energy you're putting out is being reciprocated no matter which side of the spectrum you're on. If you're on the side where you're putting out negative expectations, that's what you will receive. If you're putting out the best expectations for yourself, that's what you're aligning yourself with to receive, honey. What has to be let go of, Cancer? Ace of Swords for the two times double confirmation there's some communication that's coming your way and i'm hearing a sudden fall or a sudden windfall honey of financial these are the changes that's coming your way a sudden windfall of financial blessings something that's changing your life cancer what is this It's literally changing your life, changing the way you're looking at life. Some of y'all, it could just be your mindset. What's the four of wands? The nine of wands. And look, I just looked at the chat and saw... Monica, welcome to the live, my love. But I see what you just put in the chat and I got something to say about that. First of all, 
Don't take the denial as a defeat. Sometimes you just got to reapply. Okay, especially if you know, like, oh, hell no, nah. I, I, I need to get this. Maybe spirit is saying don't take that first denial as it being set in stone. Sometimes you might not have filled some shit out the right way. Sometimes maybe you need to turn in some more information. I don't know, honey. Or, or spirit is trying to tell you you don't need that shit. Sometimes we're looking for things and trying to align ourselves with things that spirit is like, you not, you don't need it. I'm setting you up to the point where you're not going to need that shit. So don't allow it to put you in a, a funk or feel defeated, feel bad, feel like, oh, what am I going to do now? That's, that's setting you up for a victim mentality and that's not going to work, honey. You got to empower yourself. However you need to do that, that's what you're having to do. Now, Ace of Swords. And keep in mind, this Seven of Swords and Ace of Swords is side by side. That's that Eight of Swords. Don't give up. Nine of Wands. Some of y'all want to give up, want to throw in the towel. And Spirit is like, if you throw in the towel now, if you give up now... You don't know what you're giving up on. You don't know what is coming in because the Ace of Pentacles is here. The Four of Wands is here. The Nine of Cups is here. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Something is actually happening in your favor. But if you give up, then you will never know. You'll never get it. And that's all the enemy wants you to do anyway. And when I'm talking about the enemy, I'm not talking about the devil. But if that's what you identify with, that's the storyline you identify with, then insert storyline here. I'm talking about your mentality. I'm talking about your shadow side. I'm talking about the human mind. Because the brain can only experience, it only has data that is connected to what you've seen with your 3D eyes. And what you see with your 3D eyes ain't always what it is, right? So the data that you have downloaded in your brain is not all factual. So things may look shitty. But that's not always the truth. You don't know what's on the other side. That's why spirit is so important. Okay. Some of you, somebody is saying, I'll say it again. They chose the two. They thought this shit was going to be, oh, I'm so happy. This is even giving two people who probably decided, look, I got my little four of pentacles. You got your four of pentacles. Together, we can have the eight of pentacles. Look at what we can accomplish together if we just stick together. But now, look, this shit stressing their ass the fuck out. Somebody say, I'm ready to release this fuck ass relationship because it was built on a faulty ass uh foundation eight of wands flighty it ain't stable the wind gonna blow that shit down okay huff and puff and blow your house down and that's what has happened and somebody is disappointed by this shit they disappointed with themselves, though, Cancer. Like I mentioned, some of you, this could have taken place on a job. This could be within a friend dynamic, a love connection, or something pertaining to family. Nine of Wands is also giving battlefield. So somebody, I remember I said these very people you didn't distance yourself from, your ops was coming together, trying to attack you, trying to stick up for each other, okay? Trying to lie for each other and paint you out to be the bad guy. Now they at each other's throats. Cancer, I'm also hearing you getting your look back, okay? Or either, or lick back. Spirit, your angels and your gods is getting your lick back for you. Eight of Pentacles. I ain't taking both of these. 
magician and the ace of wands you are the damn magician the world is your wand and it will deliver to you whatever you tell it to i don't know how else to put this child what's the eight of pentacles some of y'all this a virgo or a gemini they want another chance with you oh yeah that will make them real fucking happy nine of cups some of y'all this person even want to have a baby with you some of y'all are finding out that you're getting that you are pregnant too let's keep that in mind that's why you've been feeling extra tired that ain't gonna be for everybody though y'all okay somebody is looking at i chose this situation i chose that two and not the one and it has been hell nine of wands and they looking at now what if i would have chose cancers for my masculines this a feminine for my feminines this a masculine that's what they thinking about and they don't have to be an air sign it just shows that they're in their head that's why they're showing up as queen of swords and king of swords they in their head because they feel like if now it's like they wondering what if i would have chose cancer how happy could my life have been what types of things like what type of experience could i have had with cancer but this makes me feel like this somebody who is materialistic with the four of pentacles so it's like they chose a situation based upon money based based upon something that's just not real materialistic they don't operate in love maybe you made somebody feel things that they just didn't want to feel or you 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 the type of person that somebody is like i would have to heal myself i would have to work on this i would have to work on that and that's just too much work nine of wands so they chose the easier route the easier connection the easier situation the easier employee okay whatever the case may be cancer ten of pentacles Oh, something coming, something is about to come full circle for you, Cancer. This is also closing out a cycle. Oh, yes. You have closed out a cycle, honey, and you're now beginning a new cycle. You could have Aquarius in your chart, Scorpio in your chart, Taurus or Leo in your chart or you have closed out a cycle with one of these signs i feel like the world is also something related to travel it's understanding Things coming full circle again, as I said before, honey. And, oh, no, that's not the Wheel of Fortune. It's the World card. <laughs> I was about to say something pertaining to the Wheel of Fortune because I'm kind of seeing the Wheel of Fortune right now. So, hell, this is what is bringing in fortune. This is what's turning the wheel in your favor. It's like stepping into your destiny a destined cycle is about to begin a cycle of luck <clears throat> and just this major turning point for you cancer i'm i'm loving it for those of you who are open to it because you gotta be open to it honey <clears throat> I wanted to read this. The, the world card showing up 
is a message of satisfaction, Cancer. It's achievement. You see how spirit telling you this what you achieving. Some of you, this is you achieving that home that you've been thinking about and wondering how you're going to get it. Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is your finances turning around. Financial stability, a good paying job. Okay, that is turning your circumstances around for you. This is you achieving that. Others of you, this is that relationship. You see the couple. And it's giving power couple. That is what you're achieving. And that's why spirits say don't give up and throw in the bag too damn soon. This represents wholeness, completion. A long-held goal is about to be attained. Somebody could, maybe this is like a life-changing circumstance in the sense of pregnancy because now you're a mother or a father or now you have uh, maybe a new addition to a family. Some of y'all, this is marriage, bro. So you've gone from being single to now married. And then for some of you, this is a divorce. It's still a life-changing situation, maybe a graduation, okay, from school. Some important aspect of your life has now or will soon come full circle. There will be closure and the ending of a cycle. And this will bring in contentment. But it's still a little bittersweet because as one cycle ends, a new one is beginning. You may also need to take active steps to ensure the successful completion that is indicated by this card. So take your time to celebrate your success. Some of y'all need to go ahead and celebrate now. Huh? Like, go ahead and clap. Go ahead and pat your damn self on the back, Cancer, because no matter what conditions have come your way, you have survived. And that's another reason somebody is realizing I chose the wrong motherfucking person. Because you chose a weakling. I'm just saying, you chose somebody that ain't going to be able to stick with you by your side through the coldest of weather. You chose somebody that you can't depend on. If you fall off, they don't want your ass because now you don't got them four pinnacles no more. And that's the only reason that they wanted you in the first damn place. They looked at you and said, oh, yeah, we can get money together. We can start businesses together. You got good credit. I got good credit. We can get houses together. We can get cars together. It was thinking about material shit. But as soon as you lose what you got, you're they out the door. Now they looking like shit. And that could be something that's happening in somebody's life. They done lost what they had. They, they experiencing some hard times and somebody then got ghosts on their ass. If y'all dealt with somebody who uh, like ghosted you, left you out in the cold, uh, somebody then did the same shit to them. That's the balance. Now they sitting there talking about cancer would have never done this to me. Cancer would have never left me in this situation. You're damn right, but it's too late now. It's too late to go back now. Somebody realizing how your ancestors don't fuck around. You see they on the board. You come from a divine lineage. Your angels and they look sweet. But you see that goddamn raging ass water behind her? Play with it if you want to then. And somebody done fucked around and now they finding out. Now they feeling ashamed of themselves. Now they embarrassed. I'm also hearing it's like the same bed that somebody tried to make for you. The same trap that somebody tried to set for you is being set for them. They done fell into the trap that they literally set for you. Now, you a dumb dumb, huh? And I ain't talking about the motherfucking lollipops. What's the nine of cups? Unless they, uh, unless spirit just saying they a sucker. Okay. 
suck ass uh, yeah, say, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody thought, oh, it's going to take cancer forever to do this or that. So they, they bailed on you, cancer. They didn't want to wait. But now you done reached the motherfucking nine of cups. Not to mention for others of you, you felt like things were moving slowly. So you was about ready to bail on your goddamn self. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that you just decided to wait and see your goddamn seeds that you planted under the ground now come up through the soil? Look at how they're flourishing. Aren't you glad nine of cups you didn't give up? That's what spirit is saying is going to happen. You will be happy, pleased with yourself for not throwing in the damn towel. Your hard work, your responsible hard work is going to pay off. So spirit is saying, stay the course, cancer. Staying the course is what's going to get the work done. If you got a solid vision for your future, then stay the course. Stay grounded. Be patient and steadfast, honey. Spirit could be saying you are also a very detail-oriented person. Maybe, uh, maybe somebody is coming into your life that's also very honest, okay? Grounded, a warm energy. Someone who is detail-oriented, very methodical. Somebody who knows that growing a solid, successful future requires time and consistency so you can't just think oh i've been doing this for a couple of months and i haven't seen child if you don't sit your ass down buckle up continue to be consistent and allow things to grow stop being so ready to release things that's another thing for cancer one of your things we're cardinal signs so it's nothing for us to start some shit and i'm saying we we start the party we get shit started let's get it started in here but the problem is when it's time to finish if things ain't going you're not getting that instant gratification instantly seeing the fruit of your labor you be ready to er, on to the next on on to the next and spirit is like you can't be like that you gotta also have that follow through okay yeah sometimes you go through highs lows okay you have your valleys and your peaks you have the moments of things are going well then things start getting a little you know constricted or restricted that doesn't mean that your hard work is not going to pay off in order to have something solid it's going to take time. It will take consistency. Not doing something once or twice and then saying, oh, well, that didn't work, so I'm going to give up. Some of y'all could be starting new routines. Maybe this is a new job, as I said before, or you're married, you're having a child. These require new routines, a new relationship. Don't, you know, like dating someone, but it's a solid connection. So they're, you know, you're basically putting a title on things. Routine is changing up. Some of y'all need to set a routine for yourself. If you two, you know, one of the things, some of us, we don't like routine, but in this life, what if that's your lesson? What if a part of your lesson is to figure out how to tame that free-spirited energy within you that likes to come and go as you please, do what you want, when you want to do it, uh, and actually set a routine for yourself and stick by it. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of y'all got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements. 
So find a routine that works for you and stick with it, Cancer. That is your goal. That is what's going to help you see the, the rewards that you want to see now that you feel like you ain't been seeing and that's got you wanting to give up. Implement setting up a routine for yourself. Changing up your routine. Some of y'all, remember I said identity. Aries energy, Chiron and Aries. Some of y'all don't like the way you look. Then what can you do about your appearance to change the way you look? Or to change your perspective about how you look? Can you lose some weight? Maybe gain some weight? Get in the gym. Eat healthier. Do, do some sort of nighttime routine with your skincare. I don't know, child. But these are things you have to really think about for yourself, Cancer, and begin to implement them in your life. You don't like how your finances are looking. You identify yourself with the amount of money that you got in your bank account. Well, let's start there. Why are you identifying yourself with something as trivial as money? The shit don't even exist, but you do. Work on that. I hope this is making sense, Cancer. What's the Ace of Swords? Knight of Wands. Somebody coming towards you. Some of y'all, this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't know, though. Well, for some of y'all, this person is in an energy where they got a solid offer coming your way. So I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing negative. You know what I'm saying? But if they in this energy of the Knight of Wands, I, I don't like it. Because that can be flighty. That can be unreliable. Others of you, spirit is telling you. The Knight of Wands is you. Be brave. Be adventurous. Once you set your sights on a prize, it's like you got to have the confidence in yourself that you're going to reach it, okay? Be confident and passionate about what it is that you want. You will then meet every challenge, okay? Everything you aspire to accomplish that's what you're going to find yourself doing keep in mind we got the achievements here with the world and don't let fear hold you back others of you this could be a person and these are qualities about this masculine or feminine because the queen of pentacles is here too so divine counterparts are coming in someone who is very enthusiastic has their eye set on a specific prize, but they want you alongside with them. They don't look at you as being above them, beneath them. They look at you as being right there beside them. You know what I'm saying? I like that energy, honestly. Some of you, somebody could even be saying, hell, I was the Knight of Wands at one point in time. I, I made an impulsive decision. I judged you too quickly. And they might be coming in to apologize. But Spirit is also telling you with this King of Pentacles being you, this is like worldly success. And the Seven of Pentacles is here twice. So this is the fruit of your labor, Cancer. This is your harvest. Oh, yes, honey. Some of y'all, this a relationship. Others of you, this is happiness within your job, fulfillment within your work, your money going up. Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work with you. Some of y'all may be like, maybe this is networking or working with a team. 
maybe you've been placed in a role where it's like you are a supervisor or a manager or something and you are over this team these employees and that's a new routine that requires balance right Also, I feel like this is saying don't be afraid to ask for help or spirit is saying help is coming your way. July 3rd could also be significant. Child, I know this is like a heart, but at first I looked at this and was like, is she throwing up game signs, child? Hell no, we got the Ace of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Some of y'all, this is true love. This is either true love entering in, like you found that true love for yourself and it's now coming into your life in the form of the opposite, like a spouse, okay, a uh, romantic interest, masculine or feminine, okay, um, past person or new person, current person, it don't matter. Others of you, this is like, true love in the sense of what it is that you do for work you love what you do you're just loving yourself and once again loving whoever is whoever this person is as well operating at the highest frequency cancer some of y'all then recently made the decision to release somebody child whenever they find out that they either chose the two and not the one or they judged you the wrong way because everybody did possibly didn't go through a situation where someone chose someone else over you hell somebody could have chose their damn work they could have chose their family either way they chose the wrong thing they value the wrong thing above you and they're going to figure this shit out at some point and they're going to feel like a, a dumb dumb <laughs> okay just know you've already survived in the coldest conditions so that means there is nothing that you cannot accomplish for yourself that should be a confidence boost if any if nothing else is and i'm gonna leave it there cancer those are your messages if these messages resonated for your circumstance and you have not already given the video a thumbs up give the video a thumbs up and i'm gonna catch y'all later in another one until then take care of my cancers and good night you guys